Welcome to the Mullet Minute with Jake Hutchison. I am Jake Hutchison. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I have a mullet and right now it's pre-pod for the mullet run. So what better place to host this month's Mullet Minute than the beach. We've done a lot since the last Mullet Minute, but most notably, the Mudho boys went to Wisconsin and met professional fisherman, Matt Steffen, who introduced us to Joseph Wojo and together we made magic. Whoa, not like that though. I don't want to spoil what we did, but I will tell you a little bit about how the trip went. First, we ate some cheese curds, naturally. Shaboink some smallmouth, ate more cheese curds. Chris caught a muskie, again, ate more cheese curds. Got some of the best videography and photography we've ever got at Mudhole in our history. And finally, ate more cheese curds. That's all you need to know now, but trust me, you're going to want to see this. Matt, Joseph, and the whole Mudhole team, thank you. Let's get into rod building. This month, we had some truly incredible pictures and videos come through the Mudhole Rod Builders Facebook group. And we'll start with Marsad of Fiasco Rods, whose customer requested that he match his wrap to a blue wing teal duck. This is where hunting meets rod building. Marsad took a plethora of Madeira threads, matched them perfectly to the colors of the blue wing teal duck, and then placed them in the correct spots for his closed wrap. I don't think he could have done any better on this. This is truly beautiful. Marsad, you killed this, and hopefully your customer can catch some fish and kill some ducks. Next, we have the Canadian Canuck. Darwin of Canuck Fishing on Instagram took us through a whole entire build live from the testing phases of cork to the finishing phases of losing a muskie on it. Check this out. Darwin, you might be losing musky. However, you are not losing rod builders who take good pictures and post them to social media. Now we have Chris Castle, who we've seen at Mudhole a few times, attending some NURBS events. He built this UCF's themed rod for his son, who just moved into his dorm to start his first year at the University of Central Florida. Go Knights. That's not all Chris did this month, though. He wrapped this out minus, out minus, closed wrap pattern from Billy Vivona's Decorative Wraps book and posted the whole process to the Rod Builders Facebook page. We love to see process pictures. Chris, keep on killing it. Let's take it overseas for a second and see how some of these factory store-bought rods are built. All store-bought rods are not built like this. Truthfully, most of them are not. However, when I pick up a rod and it breaks immediately, the guide comes out, now it gives me a little insight as to why. Let's come back stateside for some bush latte rods. Randy Agresta is back with more themed ice rods. This time, they're bush lattes to help wash down the Wonder Bread sandwiches from last time. And now, what you've all been waiting for, but only because you know you can wait for it now because we told you about it last time the Mullet Minute Rod Builder of the Month. Rod Builder of the Month. You know what time it is. Kellen Steskel of Kellen Steskel Custom Rods. Kellen does it all. He makes intricate EVA foam grip sets. But he doesn't only do EVA, he also crushes cork and acrylic combo grips. And if you thought he stops there, just wait, cause he doesn't. He's also a closed wrap killer. Kellen Steskel, folks, Mullet Minute Rod Builder of the Month. And now, what you've all been waiting for, because you know you should wait for it, because we've done it since the beginning, the Mullet Minute TikTok of the Month. Drum roll, please. Oh, kicking it to Wisconsin with Matt Steffen. Let's check this out. Fishing with Matt Steffen. You know what he's got? Beef jerky. Put a little piece on there. I like pepper. Yeah. Look at this. You should leave that on there, honestly. <laughs> no chance, man. Aha, uh -huh. I can check that off my bucket list. Eating beef jerky with and from Matt Steffen. Thank you guys very much for being here and watching. I gotta go though, because as you can see, hopefully there's a lot of birds back there and some tarpon. So this has been the Mullet Minute 
with Jake Hutchison. I am Jake Hutchison.